Number two, iron three sulfate, which is Fe2SO43, is composed of Fe3 plus ions and SO42 minus ions. Explain why a sample of iron three sulfate is uncharged. Okie dokie. All right, so let's look at this compound. They told us that we have iron three sulfate, which equates to Fe2 parentheses SO4 three minus, oh, sorry, three. And they're saying that all of the Fe's that are in this compound are belonging to a three plus charge. So when this compound came together, the ion, the cation specifically of iron was a three plus charge. This means that each iron lost three electrons because remember the plus means actually losing electrons because the, the atom is overall a positive charge, more protons than electrons. On the flip side, all of the SO4s, they said, were a negative 2 charge. So all the sulfates, and yes, this is a polyatomic. SO4 2 minus is a polyatomic. That's called sulfate. And all of these are a 2 minus charge, which means that every sulfate uh, gained 2 electrons. The negative means gained. So a plus means lost a negative means gained. Okay. Now we're just going to do a little algebra here, but nothing, nothing too scary. How many irons are in this compound? So how many Fe's are in this compound? There were two of them, right? The subscripts will tell you how many total there were. So there's two irons. Okay. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to say there was two irons that came together. So plus, right? If this broke down into Fe, and how many sulfates? There were three, right? There's three total sulfates. We don't include this four because the four is part of the polyatomic of sulfate. So we only say that there were three SO4s. You see that? Now, when we add these together, it will always equal the total charge. So now let's figure out what the total charge is. There was two irons, and what charge was each iron? Oh, each iron was a three plus. It lost three electrons. So this would be a plus three. And just how I wrote it here, you would always multiply. So you're really doing two times plus three. Plus, now what was the charge for sulfate? We had three of them, and each sulfate was a negative two because you gain two electrons for each one. So this would be negative two. And this will equal the total charge. Now if we just do this simple math, two times a positive three is plus six, plus three times a negative two is negative six. And when you add that together, you get zero. And zero in chemistry always means that it is neutral, no charge. All right? So it says, explain why a sample of iron three sulfate is uncharged. Uncharged is the same thing as neutral. You can say, basically, this is the explanation right here. You say that there was two irons and there were three total sulfates. Each iron was a plus three charge. Each sulfate was a negative two charge. And when you add those total charges together, you get zero as your overall charge, which means that the overall atom is or the overall compound of iron three sulfate is neutral. I just don't want to write it down for you guys because it would take super, super long time. But if you just pause the video and kind of write this in words and what I just said, that's fine with me. All right. So this one's done. This is the basis behind why compounds form the way that they do. So it's super important concept. And I'm sure that we're going to be seeing this tons more times down the road in chapter four. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Give the, uh, give the video a like if it did. Subscribe to the channel if you want. If not, I'll still be putting videos out. Still helping you guys. So thank you. I'll see you guys in the next question. Happy studying.